This is a short video to go over different types of gauze, how they're packaged, and what to use them for. A short video to run over a couple different types of gauze that we use in our kits and this is really just simple gauze uh, but it comes in different form factors so we're going to show you a couple different form factors and show you how this stuff is packaged first off we have the 4x4 gauze so this is gauze in its simplest form it is a four inch by four inch square of gauze you can get this sterile or non-sterile um, you can find these in big packs of non-sterile gauze but all the stuff that we sell is sterile gauze so there are two of these in one pack to open them, they have a little spot on the top, if I can get to it, where you can peel these open. The easiest way to get into these is simply to take the edge, tear it, and then pull your gauze out from inside. Now, we have two different 4x4s inside here, and in reality, each one of these 4x4s is actually bigger, if I can get this unfolded. So it's a four-ply. So they take this long section, it gets folded over on itself four times, and then that is now four inches by four inches, and this is one four by four gauze. So there are two of these in each package. So this four by four gauze would be placed directly on a wound. So if you have any open wound or injury, you can place this directly on it. This is now the dressing to dress that wound, and then you can take a bandage of some form to wrap around to hold this into place. You would use these four by fours when it's a smaller wound, when there's not a ton of bleeding. Um, just because they don't have the ability to absorb a lot of blood just because of how thin they are. Stepping up from there, we have combine pads. So this combine pad is a five inch by nine inch pad. And same thing like the four by fours, we're just gonna tear this open and slide this out. Now what this is, is rather than gauze, this is more of a pad. There is an absorbent pad that is inside this envelope. So there's an envelope that kind of encases this and holds it together. But this is much thicker. It has the ability to absorb a lot more blood. You're going to place this somewhere where you're going to have a lot more bleeding. So you can have bleeding on an arm. If there's a lot more venous bleeding, we can go ahead and throw the uh, combine pad on. They may use these in hospitals as well where you have an open sore um, that they're dressing and there's drainage from that wound and they're going to use something like this that absorbs a lot more of that drainage. So simply put, the combine pad is just for something that has a lot more fluid, a lot more blood or fluid from the body that you have to absorb. So now let's talk about rolled gauze. We have two different main types of rolled gauze and you can see there's quite a size difference between the two. So let's start with the smaller one. The smaller one is a conforming stretch gauze. So there's a lot of stretch and a lot of play in this gauze. It will hold dressings in place, but it's not gonna have as much bulk as the larger roll for absorbing a lot of fluids. This one, you're not gonna be able to tear as easy because the back is plastic. But again, this is sterile as long as this container is not opened. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here is our roll of gauze. As you can tell, it's a uh, pretty tight weave, so there's not a lot of holes in here. It does stretch a fair amount. So this is great for placing on a dressing because you have a lot of stretch, so it's not gonna cut off circulation. It's pretty comfortable for that patient as well. This is the most common gauze that we put in our kit simply because of its size. It's three inches this way, and when it's unraveled, it's just a little over four yards long. For severe bleeding, you can also use this to pack a wound. So you can take the end and you can simply unravel it and work off the end, or you can pinch in the middle, pull the middle of this roll out, and then pack your wound and just feed it in the wound from there. So two different ways that you can utilize this smaller roll of gauze to be able to pack a wound. Last but not least, we have the crinkle gauze roll, or as a lot of people refer to it as Curlex. So same thing, we have plastic on the back, so we'll open this up and peel it sterile unless the package is damaged. So now we have our sterile gauze roll. So you'll notice this gauze roll is a good bit bigger than that previous gauze roll. In reality, the length is the exact same. It's a little over four yards, but it is longer. It's four and a half inches wide. This gauze is thicker. It has more layers to it. Um, and so that's what makes it that much bigger. So uh, this is great for wrapping wounds. Um, it gives a lot more barrier. There's also more gauze now that can absorb blood. So if you put a dressing down and use this as a bandage to hold that dressing in place, you do get some absorbency out of this as well. You can also use this to uh, create a sling and swath to hold someone's arm up out of the way because it doesn't have as much stretch. 
as the smaller rolled gauze. Once you take a little bit of stretch out of that, it's solid. So you can make a sling and swath, you can use this to tie splints in place. There's a lot of uses for this and it's great to use it for tying off objects just because it doesn't stretch. You pull that little bit of stretch and then it's a solid roll of gauze. So that's a quick rundown of different types of gauze that may be in your kit. You can find all this gauze on our website, and this is also the gauze that we pack in our kits that we also sell on our website at sixecosystems.com. Hope this video was helpful in explaining the different types of gauze that may be in your kit, and as always, stay vigilant and stay safe.